bilateral typical coloboma the other eye was operated 2 days ago entry at the steep axis translimbal direct entry into the anterior chamber with a 2.8 mm keratome hpmc injected into the anterior chamber the cystidome enters the anterior chamber perforating the floor of the tunnel at the limbus the rexis starts from an area clock over beyond the colobomatous area as many times colobomatous area the rexis would be difficult so that will be the fag end of the rexis creation it's a good rexis without any untoward effects single entry into the eye there are no side ports needed Hydro dissection is done away from the colobomatous area starting from that it's a capsular separating hydro dissection the nucleus is gently rotated into the anterior chamber it's bisected and each piece of the heminucleus was removed from the eye between a 25 gauge cannula which is continuously injecting visco to separate the mu moving nucleus from the endothelium and supported by a mini wire vectus it's a very tiny wire vectus and the other half is also similarly removed pieces of epi nucleus can be visco expressed as you see now the uh it's very important to uh, understand that this technique is outside the capsular bag so there is no pressure or a pull applied to the capsular bag or zonules throughout the procedure the entire nuclear management is in the anterior chamber the cortex at the colobomatous area is handled at the end of the cortical aspiration using simco cannula the sub incisional cortex can be aspirated with a j shaped simco cannula which comes in a pair this is a right sided j shaped cannula the uh, visco is uh, replenished into the anterior chamber repeatedly the uh, very carefully the the cortex at the colobomatous area is aspirated and the area is polished it will usually have few adherent spots of opacity and sometimes it will have deficiencies that's the reason it should be handled at the end sometimes vitreous fibrils are seen per through a defects in the capsular bag in the colobomatous area that is the area where many times herniation of capsular bag occurs carefully that can be avoided by very gentle manipulations lens is introduced into the capsular bag i take the advantage of keeping the wider haptic optic junction in the colobomatous area so that it can minimize the glare that can occur as you can see here the wider portion of the haptic optic junction the haptic the base of haptic actually is positioned at the colobomatous area and post operatively i see that the patients are going to be much more comfortable because that area is now occluded by the light which gets deflected elsewhere onto the retina instead of the macula is this is the other eye which was operated 2 days ago you see that the haptic base is occluding the coloboma and the patient had much lesser glare also note that the visual axis the pakinji one image is within the pupillary zone if the iris had blocked that area i would have made a small tiny incision a sphincterotomy in the uh, occluding area a photograph of the uh, eye taken preoperatively would be of great use during the surgery thank you